Good morning, baby bears and baby bear families. Happy Wednesday, hump day. Today I have an activity for you and a story time. So first I'm gonna show you the activity. I'm going to move the camera around a little bit, so I hope it doesn't make you guys too dizzy. Um, I'm gonna read a story today about a bear and a boat. So I thought to go along with the boat that floats, we would do a sink or float activity. So the first thing you're going to need is water. So I have a pitcher of water and I have a tub here. So I'm going to fill my tub with water. And then I just found different things around the classroom that I'm going to put in there and we're gonna see if they sink or float. So the first thing I have is a rubber ducky. And look at that, he floats. The next thing I have is a little rubber fish. Do you think he's going to sink or float? Let's see, oh, look at that, he floats too. Now this is a wooden rock and it's kind of heavy. So what do you think is gonna happen when I put that in the water? Let's see, look at that, that one sinks. How about this big ball? What do you think is gonna happen to this big ball? It's kind of light and it's big. Let's see what happens. Whoa, the ball floats. So, so far we have three things that float and one thing that sinks. How about this toy rabbit I have? He's kind of heavy too, let's see. Oh, he sinks. <laughs> I have a wooden ring. Let's see what happens to the wooden ring. Oh, it floats. How about this little people that I have? Oh, he sinks. Now, this is another wooden block that I have, but this one's much lighter than the other one. So let's see what happens with it. Well, it floats. And the last thing I have is a little squeaky rubber block. And I would say that's half and half. Half of it sinks, half of it floats. <laughs> so that's the end of our fun activity. So if you guys would like to try that at home, very simple, and you can use whatever you can find at home. So like I said today, we have another bear story, and this one is about a bear in a boat. Little bear's little boat. Look at that, little bear loved his little boat. He rode it all around Huckleberry Lake. He fished from it. One sunny day, on sunny days, he lay back in it, closed his eyes and dreamed. He was happy. <gasps> Look at little bear dreaming in his boat. What do you think he's dreaming about? When his mother called him in for bed, he pulled his little boat up to the shore. Good night, little boat, he said. I'll see you tomorrow. And he always did. But then something happened. Little Bear began to grow and grow. He got bigger and bigger. Soon he was not a little bear anymore. He was a big bear. And he didn't fit in his little boat. Uh-oh. He tried to sit in it as it bobbed on the lake, but he and the little boat both sank down to the bottom of the blue, blue water. Where are you, my big bear? Mother called. Big bear and his little boat both spluttered up. Glug, said little bear. You are too big now, Bear, to fit in that little boat, Mother said. It is a little bear's destiny to grow and grow until he is a big bear. It is a little boat's destiny to stay the same size. Big Bear was sad. I can't leave my little boat with no bear to sit in it or fish from it or dream in it, he said. It's a little boat's destiny to keep sailing on a blue, blue lake. He scratched his head. I know, I will find another little bear who will love my little boat the way I love it. Big Bear walked around Huckleberry Lake. Have you seen any little bears anywhere? He asked Beaver. Not since you were a little bear yourself, said Beaver. Otter hadn't seen any little bears either. 
See otter swimming in the water? But Blue Heron had one lives with his mother on the other side of the lake, he said. I saw him eating berries this very morning. So Big Bear walked around the lake again and found the little bear. <gasps> There's a little bear. I have a little boat for you, Big Bear said. But there is one thing you should know. You will get big, bigger and bigger till you are a big bear. That's a little bear's destiny. The little bear listened carefully. Little, the little boat will stay the same size because that's its destiny. When that happens, you must find another little bear to fit in the little boat because it is also a little boat's destiny to keep sailing on the blue, blue lake. Will you promise? I promise, said Little Bear. All summer long, Big Bear saw the Little Bear rowing the little boat around Huckleberry Lake and fishing from it. And on sunny days, Big Bear would stop what he was doing and watch the Little Bear as he lay back in the little boat, dreaming. Big Bear could tell that Little Bear was happy. Guess what? Big Bear was happy too. It says, Big Bear's Big Boat. So now Little Bear had a little boat and Big Bear has his very own big boat that he can float in the blue, blue water. What a cute story. I hope you guys are enjoying all the bear stories. Um, happy Wednesday and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.